Have you ever fancied trying your hand at some albatross research but you're not quite ready to quit the day job yet? Well, now could be your chance. A new project from the British Antarctic Survey looks to analyse population data of wandering albatross. And the best part is, you can take part from the comfort of your own sofa. I sat down with Ellie Bowler from the British Antarctic Survey to learn more about the project and how I could become a wildlife detective. First of all, what, what is this project all about? So in this project, we're looking to try and survey all uh, wandering albatross nesting sites across the entire South Georgia archipelago using very high resolution satellite imagery. So 30 centimetre resolution images, so the albatross shelf is about four to five pixels. And we're asking the crowd of citizen scientists to try and help us do that. And so what's the aim of this project? The aim is to try and get a up-to-date survey of the wandering albatross population on South Georgia. Um, it's quite a threatened population. It's one of uh, less than 10 priority species for conservation uh, under ACAP. Um, so they've been in long-term decline for a little while, um, but some of the locations are really hard to monitor because it's incredibly rocky and difficult to access. So while there's a lot of information at some sites, for some locations, we don't really have an idea of what the populations are, are doing, how healthy they are. So using the satellites lets us monitor them in more detail. So how, how does it actually work? They're really large satellite images. Um, so those are initially just tiled into smaller patches. So they're about 150 meters uh, square when you see them on the screen. And what we're asking people to do is click through those images and tell us when they can see albatross and not. Uh, some of the images will be cloudy. That's one problem we have when we use this kind of data. So if there's cloud or haze, you won't be able to see anything. So people can tell us when there's poor images. And when they see an image that is clear and has albatross, we're asking them to put little point annotations on any kind of white dot they think is an albatross. <laughs> So, I mean, I, I had to go at this the other day when I saw the news and, you know, some of the photos you're looking and it is, you definitely overthink of, is this an albatross or is this not? So what do you do? How, how do you know if it actually is an albatross, if people are clicking the right things? Yeah, it's quite challenging, the imagery, because like you say, it's really blurry. Um, so we've got some information that shows some examples of what albatross look like. Um, we're also, for this campaign, asking, uh, well, we're looking to get at least six people to annotate every image. So we'll uh, look afterwards at the uncertainty and only accept points which are labelled by multiple observers so that we can get an idea of confidence. So then we'll be looking to um, assess, uh, we'll look through the images ourselves, a subset of them, and review them. And then we'll use that to develop a sort of baseline population estimate for the entire South Georgia. It's sort of a fun thing with citizen science projects as well because you can really just virtually kind of visit South Georgia and, and see what it looks like and look at the albatross there. It's, um, yeah, it's quite a unique way of visiting these sort of very remote and uh, places reserved mostly for explorers before you can really be a yeah, laptop explorer. 